She was extremely talented and became one of the most feared golfers on the LPGA Tour. From the youngest player to qualify for the U.S. Women's Open at the age of 12 to the second youngest major champion in the history of golf, Lexi Thompson was the big next thing. Until dark clouds came her way. Lexi Thompson's heartbreaking PGA Tour finish. Lexi Thompson once again falls short in a major that she had control of. You should practice your putting game, Lexi. Golf world heartbroken for Lexi Thompson on Sunday. Lexi Thompson gets four shot penalty and loses major after viewer tip. The golfing world wasn't going easy on her and her game keeps going down the drain. But how did she manage all these demons? It all began when Alexis Noel Thompson was born in Coral Springs on February 10th, 1995. Her childhood wasn't what you'd call normal considering she was already making history when she was 12 years old. She had so much talent that her parents decided to go full focus on golf, which meant hours of training per day and homeschooling in her younger years. She felt extremely lonely, she admitted later, when Lexi reflected on her childhood. She lost the friends she went to elementary school with and didn't make any new friends. For a child, that can cause trauma. Fortunately, the hard work and sacrifices she had to make paid off big time. Before Lexi made it to the U.S. Women's Open in 2007, she had already won the U.S. Kids Golf World Championship twice, in 2003 and 2004. But most astonishing of all, she made history at the age of 12 when she became the youngest player to qualify for the U.S. Women's Open. She finished the event with scores of 86 and 82, falling short of making the cut. Lexi would qualify for the U.S. Women's Open again the following year and make the cut. By the end, she had finished 34th, an extremely impressive achievement for a 14-year-old. Everything seemed to be going perfectly until then. Her golf career looked very promising, and she was on her way to becoming the best golfer in LPGA history. But with all the fame, also comes the pressure. Was she able to live up to it? In 2010, at age 15, after keeping her amateur status for the first half of the year, Lexi announced her intention to play professional golf. She was immediately offered sponsorship deals from Cobra Puma Golf and Red Bull, making history as the first golfer to strike a deal with both brands after the merger. When she turned pro, it was tough for her to join these tournaments. Strangely enough, she didn't have an official LPGA Tour membership because the tour rules didn't allow anyone under 18 to play on the tour. She had to rely on sponsors who believed in her, and that belief really paid off. Lexi managed to get into some of those tournaments, and in her debut at the U.S. Open, she finished in 10th place, earning her first professional check of $72,000. Late in 2010, Lexi submitted a request to the LPGA to allow her to compete in 12 tournaments instead of the six allowed to non-members. Her request was denied, but a change in LPGA rules authorized her to participate in more than 12 tournaments the following year. The change of rules helped her write history. At just 16 years old, Thompson did the incredible by becoming the youngest winner on both the LPGA and Ladies European Tours. She beat the LPGA Tour rookie at the time, Tiffany Joe, by a five-stroke margin. But the icing on the cake came a few years later, when she was 19. Lexi was in the prime of her career as she won her very first major title in the Kraft Nabisco Championship. Starting the final round tied for the lead with Michelle Wee, Thompson aggressively attacked the course and was up by five shots after the first nine, a lead she never relinquished. She became the second youngest major winner of all time and took home $300,000 in prize money. Lexi has come a long way from that 12-year-old girl who failed to make the cut in her first U.S. Women's Open. She has won the Solheim Cup five times since she began playing on the LPGA Tour, and she has a total of 11 career victories, including one major championship title. All of this has resulted in total career earnings of almost $14 million. But soon, things began to change. Dark clouds gathered above her head as she experienced serious challenges in her game. Thompson always gets praised for her resilience. No modern player has suffered more heartbreaking losses than she did. The four-stroke penalty disaster at the ANA Inspiration in 2017 and the 2021 back nine collapse at the U.S. Women's Open at Olympic were the most tortuous to watch. In April 2017, during the third round of the ANA Inspiration, Lexi Thompson faced a major setback. 
She started Sunday with a two-stroke lead before suffering a two-stroke penalty halfway through the round after a TV viewer submitted feedback via LPGA.com that Thompson had improperly replaced her ball on the 17th green the day before. Additionally, she received a further two-stroke penalty for signing an incorrect scorecard. The ruling sparked a debate within the golf community, particularly around the use of video replay for penalties and the fact that people were able to call in to address errors. This scandalous rule decision at the event cost her a second major title and led to what some call the Lexi rule, which highlighted the gray areas in golf's rulebook. It's hard not to think Lexi has had a bit of a raw deal at times. After all these years of success and great performances, suddenly her physical and mental strength were put to the test. Unfortunately, it affected her game so badly that she was going down the drain with her putting game and ball striking. In the final round at the LPGA Pelican Championship, the 26-year-old was two strokes ahead with two holes remaining when she missed a three-footer for par on 17 and a four-footer for the victory on 18. Lexi then nailed her approach on the first playoff hole to five feet, but missed again, losing the championship to the then world number one, Nelly Korda. It is heartbreaking to watch Lexi put herself out of tournament wins. I don't know if I've ever seen a professional golfer with such a bad stroke under pressure. It's not a new story, but it doesn't seem to be getting any better. Is there a way out? The mental stress has to be off the charts for her. Some say it's her stance and grip that seem too tense. Others think it is an arm lock and that she should just eliminate the practice stroke. Lexi revealed during an interview that she faced a challenge on the golf course. She realized her hands would start shaking towards the end of the rounds. Not knowing how to handle it, she sought advice from the golf icon, Tiger Woods, to transform her game. Woods offered her some guidance, suggesting she include peanut butter and banana sandwiches on wheat bread in her diet while on the course. When asked how she's going to overcome her challenges, Thompson shared that she's putting effort into all aspects of her game to get back to her top form. She highlighted her ball striking, which has seen a huge drop this year. She's managed to hit greens in regulation 65.3% of the time this season, placing her 98th on the tour. This marks a 10% decrease from her career average and an 11.9% drop from her performance last year. Throughout her career, Thompson has consistently ranked within the top 11 on the tour for greens in regulation. During the last round of the 2021 U.S. Women's Open, Lexi Thompson was all set for an eagle putt from six feet on her first hole. She didn't make it, but got a birdie and led by five. Despite her excellent performance, Brancel Chamblay had something pretty interesting to say about her putting game. She's got six feet away. Now professional golfers don't miss the center of the face by a pinhead. Look where she hits this putt on the very first hole. Look where this putt comes off the face. She would have missed the center of the putter there by a half an inch. I have never, ever seen a professional golfer miss the center of the putter by a wider margin than that. That was at the first hole. It's hard to say what hindered Thompson's performance in her 14th attempt at the Women's Open on that fateful Sunday. Was it the heavy load of expectations? The challenging conditions of the Olympic club course? The simple fact that it's hard to hold on to a lead and seal the deal in a major? Or was it just, well, the unpredictable nature of golf? Heading towards the end of her front nine, Thompson was leading by five shots. Yet three hours later, she was walking off the 18th green, having missed a crucial par putt that would have kept her in contention. That moment was tough. The resulting bogey meant she missed out on a playoff spot by just one stroke. Despite the disappointment, Thompson smiled, shared hugs with her fellow competitors, and then proceeded to record a 5 over 41 score for the back nine, a heartbreaking conclusion to her tournament. Lexi Thompson's journey through her 12th season on the LPGA Tour has taken a turn no one saw coming. Instead of dominating the leaderboards as she usually does, the American standout is navigating through a rough patch. Questions are swirling around Thompson in a way they never have before. At 28, can she secure her place on her sixth consecutive Solheim Cup team? And, perhaps even more surprisingly, can the 11-time winner maintain full LPGA status? Following her second-place finish at the Ladies European Tour's Aramco Saudi Ladies International in mid-February, she spent most of the year on the LPGA Tour, either not playing in events or, when she does tee it up, just trying to make the weekend. 
This slump has landed Thompson in a spot she's not familiar with. She was ranked 156th on the LPGA's CME points list. This list is crucial as it's used by the tour to decide who gets to keep their playing status next season. To give you an idea of how unusual this situation is for her, Thompson has never finished lower than 34th since the LPGA started using CME points in 2014. But all we want to know is, will Lexi be okay? And is she capable of winning another major? She is one of the greatest players on the LPGA Tour, so the expectations are always there. She starts the 2024 season fresh with a new full-time caddy. Maybe Colton Heisey can turn the tide for her. She was having a strong end to her last season, so this change aims to maintain the positive momentum she gained in the latter part of the year. Or can her new endorsement deal with Maxfly make a difference? As of this year, she will be using Maxfly golf balls. Her decision was made after extensive testing showed that Maxfly's Tour Series model outperformed other options. Do you love to watch these LPGA stars like I do? Then make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing golf content. Please hit like if you enjoyed the video.